Um, why did I pick accounting? The truth is, if you guys have been here for a while, I talk about a lot about a lot about this rule, right? It's called the top 10 rule, which basically means when you're picking a major, you write in the top 10 careers you want to pick, right? And then you do a research paper on each of those careers to find out basically the growth not in that whole career, how much it pays, how long it takes, basically to find out is it going to be a good investment. And then you start crossing off until you get basically the top three and you pick the one you basically mostly like. When I picked accountant, I did not do that, you know, because again, I was 17 years old, extremely ignorant, extremely naive. So me picking accountant was on the luck of the whim. In reality, initially, my major was going to be international business. If you ask me why, I would tell you because basically I wanted to be involved in international business. But if you ask me what it took to get into that whole thing or what it was actually about, I couldn't tell you, honestly. I just couldn't tell you anything about it because it was more like when you're in high school, if I'm being transparent here, you're more like you just pick a major just based on the luck of the draw, right? That's what you basically do. That's why I tell so many people about the, the rule of 10. That way, they don't do that. So, when I picked accounting, to make this long story short, um, I asked a family member, let's just say that, or family friend, about what degree I should pursue. And they said, hey, accounting is a great degree, and you'll make a lot of money, and you'll always have a great job. And I went into accounting because of that. Now, I got lucky that I asked a very intelligent person what degree to go into. But if I had asked, for example, a person that was not qualified, they might have told me, hey, Tommy, go into business management, into psychology. And I'm and I likely would have taken that advice. You know, but again, I got very lucky. And that's why I say so much. You have to pick your degree with the most confidence ever. Do all the research possible on it. But that's why I picked accounting. Do I like it? No, I hate it. I don't I don't really like accounting at all. That's why I have a CPA to handle everything for me. Now, Marcel. Why not start a brick and mortar business and set up with a manager? Um, for what? For what? Um, you mean for the, um, for the accounting business? That's not what I want to do, right? In life, you got to understand what you want to do and what you want to be involved in, right? My whole goal is to make $48,000 a year in passive income to be fully like financially free and just to worry about basically what I want to worry about and basically build a massive company and so on and so on, right? But in reality, if I'm already, for example, like making $30,000 a year from passive income, like using, for example, just like um, a 10% gain, not really the 4% rule, and having like a paid off house and all that stuff by next year, I don't I don't really have to be involved in things I'm not passionate about anymore. You know, that that's the main thing. Like initially, yes, you take that sacrifice, you do those things. But right now, I, I already paid my dues for the past like five years, not being able to provide that when he was basically dying. So I paid my dues. You know, so I'm good on that. I don't I don't want to go back into that whole thing bum, at all. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs>